It was a joyful celebration that turned into horrific slaughter last night in Kabul. At least 63 people were killed, 182 injured. This as President Trump returns to the White House later today. After meeting this past week with his top national security advisors and cabinet officials, over potential peace talks with the Taliban. A resulting deal could lead to a final exit of our troops from that country and an end to America's longest running war. But this morning, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham on Sunday Morning Futures warned that a complete exit could lead to more attacks here on our homeland. There's no circumstance I can envision leaving Afghanistan uh, without a counterterrorism force and an intel capability to protect us against another 9-11 because al-Qaeda and ISIS is alive and well in Afghanistan. All right, Jillian Turner is live in Washington with more. Jillian. That's right, Arthel. ISIS now claiming responsibility for that attack. A few hours ago, the group posting a propaganda photo of the man they claim is the perpetrator via Nishir News Telegram channels online. Terrorism experts say this move has become a signature for the terrorist group who used the aftermath of attacks to spread hate far and wide across the Internet. One guest who was at that wedding overnight where the attack unfolded described the scene. Take a listen. Around 1,200 guests were invited to the wedding. I was with the groom in the other room when we heard the blast, and then I couldn't find anyone. Everyone was laying all around the hall. President Trump convened a meeting with his national security team this weekend to figure out whether cutting a deal with the Afghan Taliban in exchange for withdrawing U.S. troops from the country makes strategic sense. Afghanistan's president, meanwhile, is making the case that the Taliban isn't to be trusted, saying the Taliban can't be absolved themselves of responsibility because they provide a platform for terrorists. Now, even some of President Trump's strongest supporters in the Senate are opposed to the idea of a drawdown. Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted, to trust the Taliban to control al-Qaeda, ISIS, and other radical Islamist groups present in Afghanistan as a replacement for a U.S. counterterrorism force would be a bigger mistake than Obama's Iran nuclear deal. Military brass who support withdrawing from Afghanistan make the case that U.S. troops on the ground have been reduced to serving as a glorified police force and say that after 18 years of war, it's time for the U.S. to pull the plug. Arthel? All right, Jillian Turner, thank you very much.